Bueno, en Detroit, Michigan, el músico, el rapero Eminem, uh, anunció que apoya a Kamala. And going into this election, the spotlight is on us more than ever, and I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. I also think that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. Y entonces Obama, en agradecimiento a Eminem, rapeó un fragmento de la canción del músico, canción titulada Lose Yourself. I have done a lot of rallies, so I don't usually get nervous. But I was feeling some kind of way following Eminem. Now I notice my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on my sweater already, mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but on the surface I look calm and ready to drop bombs, but I keep on forgetting. Obama juega en las ligas mayores de la política, es una insolencia decir que es un imbécil. ¿no? Obama es un orador consumado, juega en unas ligas superiores a la de Kamala o Trump o Biden, está en otra liga. Luego le dijo a la gente en Detroit que Kamala y su vicepresidente, el señor Walls, salieron de la pobreza y por eso eh, entienden mejor los problemas de la gente que pasa dificultades, de la gente de clase media o de la gente pobre. They can see you and relate to you because they've lived like you have. And they understand that too many folks in Michigan and across the country are still struggling to pay the bills. Now understand, wages are steadily growing. Inflation is slowing. But the price of everything from health care to housing to groceries is still too high. And that hurts. The question is, who's actually going to do something about it? Recordó que cuando Trump fue presidente hizo todo lo posible para uh, descalabrar o eliminar o suprimir el Obamacare. So, so that's on the economy. When it comes to health care, Donald Trump's only, only answer is to end the Affordable Care Act. Now, do not boo. Now, if you ask him, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you ask him, he doesn't really even know why he wants to end it, except for the fact that I did it. So, but the problem he's got, the problem Vance has got, is it's now popular, right? Because 50 million people have gotten health care from it. They didn't have it before. Entonces, pareció molestarle que el vicepresidente de Trump, el señor Vance, haya dicho que Trump salvó el Obamacare. Según Obama, fue todo lo contrario. Quiso destruirlo. You all remember this? A couple weeks ago, uh, his running mate is debating Tim, and his running mate says, has the nerve, has the chutzpah, has the gall to say Donald Trump, quote, salvaged the Affordable Care Act. Donald Trump spent his entire presidency trying to tear that thing down. Y finalmente se rió porque el otro día Trump en un meeting dejó de contestar preguntas y puso 40 minutos de música. We had a town hall meeting. Now, I've had a lot of town hall meetings. And and the point is that you're supposed to listen and then answer questions from your constituents. About like, about 45 minutes into it, he just said, you know what, I don't feel like taking questions no more. And then he just played music for half an hour. He's, 
He's just up there swaying to Ave Maria and YMCA. Can you imagine if, if, if Alyssa or I or, or Gretchen did that? Now, I, I will say our playlist might be better. Regresamos enseguida.